Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to check out the UK UI desktop of Cache OS. Let us start. I have installed the UK UI desktop using GPT plus refined bootloader and XFS file system. So you can use the uh, this uh, keyboard arrow buttons to boot in. Okay, so this is the gritter screen of UK UI desktop. You have got sessions only one. There is no other session and most probably it is XOX session only. And the keyboard layouts you can toggle if you have got multiple keyboard layouts. This is the reboot button and this is the shutdown button and in the middle you have got the user uh, icon and the field to enter your passwords. It is taking little uh, time to come up on the screen and of course uh, the scaling is not proper in a VM. So I think there is no wallpaper. Let us set us some background. And let us first open the. Okay. Let us go and open the. Okay. So let us check out all the first let me okay system yes resolution let us do the resolution first Uh, there is some issue here in the yes why it is not getting uh, brightness it is not working okay system devices okay display is uh, resolution is proper but uh, in reality this uh, screen uh, desktop has not scaled to the correct resolution so there is some issue with the Okay, so I think we will have to continue using uh, this uh, resolution only. There is an issue. You can see most of the things get blanked out. Okay, so what we will do is uh, let us check out the CashOS Hello app. So here in CashOS Hello app, you get the documentation links, support and project links. You can contribute to the development of CashOS, you can donate to the project, you can check out the wiki links, release info, readme, you can access the forums, you can access the software, then there is link to apps, tweaks and you can also install apps from this and you can change your language at the uh, bottom and on the bottom right you can uh, specify whether to launch a start or not. Now uh, what we will do is uh, let us check out the different uh, wallpapers let us try this one yes so now it is looks better okay so we will keep this uh, wallpaper now let us check out all the settings so in the settings app you have got system uh, where you can change the display you can do the configuration for the touch screen you can set the default apps and you can specify apps for auto boot so this apps uh, will start uh, when you start your system so this is nothing but the auto start it is called auto boot here in cache os then in devices you can add printers you can add mouse do configuration for the mouse you can customize the different shortcuts you can see here these are the different shortcuts that you can do you can add custom shortcuts in the audio section you can see here you can uh, configure the system audio it is uh, not uh, that uh, stable yes so we were where yes we were here in the 
devices section in the audio section you, you see the audio section is not working it is crashing down so definitely this is not working here on the virtual machine it might work on your bare metal but what uh, you can do is you can have a separate partition to test different uh, systems you can do, do that in a separate partition don't install it on your main partition and best is to use your old desktop or laptop to try out systems before you install it on your uh, main uh, daily driver laptop or desktop old systems always you keep you don't throw it away you can uh, do the testing of different linux distributions and other oss on the old system yes where are we yes so this is for the audio settings but it is not working then in the personal section you can change the background you can change the themes so there are two theme modes default and the dark mode you can see here and you can also reset to default then you have got uh, icon themes if they are installed so right now no icon theme is there so it is showing blank then you have got three cursor themes advaita blue crystal and dark sense and also you can uh, set the effect settings so you can have more transparencies and you can have more solid background so what we will do is let us go with the transparency setting you can see here there is little changes there so this is nothing but the kylin desktop so uk ui desktop is nothing but the kylin desktop that you find in the chinese os uh, that os was created for the chinese user so that is that now uh, let us go to the screen lock so with screen lock to use uh, we can use different screen lock so the wallpapers will act as screen screen locks here so which one let us go with this and also you can browse local uh, wallpapers and you can also browse the online wallpapers now in font section noto sans cj cjk sc so this is uh, a custom font for this uk ui desktop and the mono for, uh, mono space font is used as a mono font and also you can reset to default now what is the screen saver so this is the screen saver so same uh, wallpaper that is in the background and screen lock will uh, be used as a screen saver and you will get some messages and uh, messages on your screen you can see here some data will be there clock and uh, maybe these are some uh, proverbs that will come up on the screen when the screen saver is on and also you can use two screen saver programs one is the uk ui default so that will use the uh, wallpaper that is uh, set as a background or screen lock for the screen saver also and you can also customize and you can set the idle time before the screen saver kicks in now in the desktop uh, section you can have icon lock on menu settings menu file system menu and the trash menu okay so now we will go back let us go over to the network side so in networks you have got the net connect status so wired connection wireless connection everything is shown here for example if you click on the details it will show us all the details then uh, in the refresh available network you can see the different networks it will show then these are the vpn connections proxies you can configure here now coming back this is the user management so you can add users remove users you can add users to the groups you can change passwords you can change the user type here in the date time section you can do the configuration for the date and time and also area so which locale you are living what are the different language that you have set on your system you can add different languages remove them everything is done here then this is the update section so here in the update section first step is to always take a backup so the backup you can take it from here so backup is included in the system and also you can restore the backups and i, I don't see any way for the update here it is written update but there is no button here to start the system update so let us see there may be some other way to do the system updates and in the messages you can do the configuration for the different uh, notification so messages is nothing but the different notifications here you can see get notifications from app so these are the different apps uk ui flash disk power manager peony 
and in the search you can create indexes for the searches you can choose folders to uh, block so the search won't uh, work in this block folders and it won't create an index of files in the block folders and also you can change the default uh, web engine so uh, here it is shown by do but we are not able to change the search engine so this is uh, this uk ui desktop is mainly uh, targeted towards the chinese uh, uh, region and local and people but you can also use it so i think this is not working here in cache os but in other desktops i think in ubuntu all, all the things will work so ubuntu also has a uk ui desktop there i think everything will work but it is not working here in cache os now coming back we have checked out the settings let us go back to home now here in the devices okay so this is already done okay so we have i think completed everything everything we have completed here in the settings app we have checked out the wallpapers also screen saver setting everything we have seen now uh, let us open the uh, terminal let me search here for the terminal so the mate terminal and xfc terminals have been given here so let us check out the xfc terminal and here you can see why it is not uh, getting uh, maximize i don't know but here you can see the cache os uh, kvm kmu okay advaita cursor is used terminal is xfc4 terminal 4 fish shell is used so this is the only information that is given here so the uk ui desktop uses around 865 packages linux kernel is 6.13.7 so this is all information that i am getting so there is minimize maximize button okay show toolbar yes now you can do it so this is works little different but this minimize maximize button is not working please take a note of this many things are not working it is not that stable desktop then what is there what is this letter okay so the uk ui desktop is i think it is xfc based only you can see here 4.20 desktop gtk version is 3.24.49 so it is based on xfc desktop okay so now let us check out the different applications so you got alacrity you got the xfc appearance app assistive technologies are there avai server uh, browser is the ssh server browser vnc server browser avai zero configuration browser btop you already seen bulk rename cache browser cache os hello cache os kernel manager cache os package manager and these things we will check out later then you have got the fish shell you have got the hardware locality uh, locality as topo so you can check out the hardware configuration here the keyboard is there keyboard shortcuts kylin system monitor is there so now let us check out the how much memory and everything is consumed processes resources you can see it here around nine percent cpu usage and around the 0.7 GB uh, RAM usage. So this is in uh, line with the XFC desktop because this is based on XFC desktop. And this is the network usage. The file system, you can see it here. Virtual file system, virtual hard disk. So total around 9.1 GB of the hard disk space has been consumed. So this is the heavy system. And these are the processes that are work, uh, running on and you can see all processes also here using this toggle here and enter the relevant info so you can search for any relevant uh, process that is running and it will be shown here separately so this is the kylin monitor then you have got the mate system monitor let us open so mate system monitor is also showing similar memory usage seven Seven, around 750 MB swap is around 1.2 MB and uh, CPU uh, usage is uh, around uh, yes less than 3 percent and here it is showing on the so this Kylin system monitor is not uh, it's showing very dirty uh, 
user interface but this mate system monitor is looking way better and it should be the default one they should remove the kylin because kylin it is looking very dirty it is not uh, um, getting homogeneous with other apps and uh, desktop you got this notes application network browsing mouse micro meld mate font viewer then screenshot app is there settings we have seen system info this is the mate system info so that is shown here okay now here also you can see this app is not uh, how to go about it now let us check yeah i am not able to remove this uh, window from here so these are the this and it is not uh, properly uh, configured desktop many things need to be worked upon before they should not introduce such uh, desktops uh, which is unstable it is not working properly it is not uh, cohesive the apps do, don't uh, look in cohesion with other uh, parts of the desktop okay let us see if refresh box or not we check it this is the calendar and time uh, app or widget this is the notification center this is nothing just the uh, end of the panel okay so what we'll going to do is uh, system info we have seen thunar file manager is there thunar preferences time and date manager we have seen vim is a text editor volume control is there we have seen that windows let us check what is the current manager is unsupported okay so this is not the desktop for your daily use you might try it out in a virtual machine like me only then anything else is yes this is the shared uh, schedule extend uh, extension gui manager this is for configuring your kernel then redshift is there okay removable drives and media section is there so here you can configure the removable storage and other drives on your system cameras printer and other input devices output devices anything else is there let me check again once nothing is there now let us try out the display let me go again in the system settings i want to check out why the scaling is not working let me try it out once okay here there is no button to set the scaling okay so there is some issue either with the vm it is not compatible with the vm or the uk ui desktop itself it is work in progress it is not uh, ready for daily use so that's it for the uk ui desktop i have seen better uk ui implementations in ubuntu and other linux distributions but here in cache os this uk ui desktop is not for the daily use it is work in progress and we can say it is something like pre alpha alpha stage only it is not uh, a stable version the two three times also it crashed during my testing so don't use it but as a curiosity you can try it out in a virtual machine don't install it on your desktop if you want to use any uh, desktop for stable usage you can use the gnome kde desktop xfc desktop will work but g is also working properly but not this desktop So that's it for today's video see you in the next video bye bye